You know, there's been a lot of movement with the Blue Jay Nation in the last uh, few days. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, one of the stupidest people I've ever seen in posts on the uh, Blue Jay Facebook site. Uh, I can't even mention the guy's name because I don't want to email him further. Uh, the, the name Don Manley came up as a new bench boss of the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays. Don, one of the best Yankees of the, the modern era not to win a World Series. He said, oh, I don't know this guy. Is that the guy that uh, lost the World Series uh, by letting a ball between his legs? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, tr- I'm doing this podcast in tribute to him. The stupidest comment on any Blue Jay uh, sponsored Facebook site of the modern era. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the Toronto has hired a pretty well a second manager, Don Mangley. Now, to say Don was one of the best players of his area and one of the best baseball minds of his era is an understatement. He's only 61. He recently completed a seven-year stint as a Miami Marlins manager. Now he's going to replace uh, Casey Candell, the former Expo, who will be sent back down to Buffalo uh, to manage a team he was brought up with the Montoya firing. Now, uh, the Blue Jays had signed John Schneider to a multi-year contract, but then again, you never know what's going to happen in baseball. I wouldn't be surprised Schneider be given one or two years and Madeline could take over. Now, there were some rumors that Paul Molitor would get the job, but it never played out. Now, uh, he was manager of the LA Dodgers for a number of years, and again, he said in published reports, I'm doing this because there's passion around the club. I think all the ingredients are there to win. Of course, Toronto lost uh, in a three-game uh, wildcard series in dramatic fashion to Seattle in the playoffs where he gave up multiple runs, I think eight runs to lose uh, 10-9 after leading, uh, you know, 8-1. to one. Now, Again, intern bench coach Candela will return to AAA Buffalo to resume his job as manager of the Bisons. And like Schneider, he was promoted with the Blue, Jay, Blue Jays fired manager Charlie Montoya in July. Ironically, Montoya was also a Montreal Expo prospect when Candela was coming up. Now, general manager Ross Atkins said Bangley offers a calm, steady approach and has plenty of experience. He will help the staff standpoint. Not that there was an area of need, but I think it helps us take another step. Now, Mangley spent the last seven seasons again guiding the Marlins. He announced in September he would not seek a new contract with the team. Now, the Blue Jays did finish second in the AL East at 97 games by the Yankees, and Toronto was swept in a wild card by the Mariners. Mangley said, I'm here to help. My only success comes from their success. It's not ever going to be about me. It's going to be about whoever the player is in whatever way we're trying to help him. Because there's a lot of young prospects on the team coming up as well. Now, a six-time All-Star or 14-year big league playing career with the Yankees, Mandley also spent five seasons uh, as manager of the Dodgers. He won three division titles in LA and was named the LL, NL Manager of the Year in 2020 with the Marlins. That year, the Miami finished with a 69-93 record. Aiken said the team had over 45 names on its initial list for the bench coach position. That list was eventually narrowed down to four before Manningly got the nod. It was a great to getting to know Don throughout the process, and we are very excited about the experience he brings with him from the variety of roles he has had over the years, Schneider said in the release. The organization and I are looking forward to his impact on the players and staff as we look ahead to an exciting 2023 season. Now, after retiring as a player, Manningly worked as a hitting coach and bench coach for the Yankees. He also served as a hitting coach for the Dodgers before he took over the team as manager. Now, he won nine Gold Glove Awards at first base. He was also won the 84 batting title, was named AL MVP in 85, and earned three Silver Sluggers. Now, coming from someone with, uh, with his experiences to help players remember where to focus, where the important levers are to be pulled, and how to get back to the process will be valuable, said Aikens. He certainly has the credibility and experience to do that in a significant way. The Blue Jays plan to announce their full 2023 coaching staff in the coming weeks, the team said. No other significant changes are expected, although Devon White might be involved in some type of hitting position. Now, after Schneider was promoted to bench boss to interim manager, he guided the Blue Jays to a 46-28 mark over the second half of the season. Now, 
He said he already, uh, Manigly said he already had four or five conversations with Schneider on game planning and other subjects. I think we're going to be great, honestly. Manigly said in a video call with reporters, I love talking with John. I can tell you he's totally organized in what he wants to do. Now Schneider had the interim tag removed on October 21st and agreed to a three-year deal as manager with a team option for 2026. Now this wasn't the only uh, news that uh, came down to Pike. One of the longtime mainstays member of Toronto a Blue Jays broadcast team uh, lasted 30 years. Sportsnet uh, where he was a, uh, a color man uh, in support of Buck Martinez and other announcers in the last number of years. He announced, Sportsnet announced his departure in a statement on Friday afternoon. Again, he spent 17 years with Sportnet as part of the network's Blue Jay broadcast after playing for the team for parts of three seasons. And of course, he won the World Series in 92 with the Jays. Tabler joined TSN as a studio analyst in 93 after retiring and then joined TSN's broadcast booth in 2001 before moving to Sportsnet in 2005. For the last 32 years, first as a player for the Blue Jays and then as a broadcaster, has been honored to serve you, said Tabler's statement issued through Sportsnet. I hope that I represent you with class and dignity that you deserve. It was a great run, but all good things have to come to, uh, to an end. Now, the player... Uh, for his uh, straight ahead uh, style and announcing the uh, the only negative that we had uh, is the fact was he uh, was a very very folksy style kind of turned off uh, young listeners but the older ones like me really appreciated his straight ahead approach now the 64 year old played part of three seasons for Toronto and retired from playing after helping them win the championship the first ever 92 a career 282 hitter over 12 years he also played with the Cubs the Indians Kansas City, New York Mets, and of course, the Blue Jays. So uh, big news uh, down the pike for Toronto. And uh, if the if you're a Simpsons fan, if you find the Don Madeley, uh the softball episode with all the Major League players doing their own voices when uh, Mr. Burns were trying to tell Magley, uh to take off his sideburns, and he cuts off half his head, and he said, well, I, 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 I still like him more than Steinbrenner. Uh, Don Magley to me, is the most respected of the Yankee players of the 80s and 90s. We wanted so much for the Yankees that year, but ironically, when he left, the Yankees started winning World Series. I mean, it made no sense because the 1980 Yankees were very underrated, Winfield, and he came after Reggie Jackson, so he was a void. And just like Wade Boggs in Boston, there was Wade Boggs in Manley and Cal Ripken, the big big tree of the AL East. And I saw this guy play. He had aspects of George Brett. He can be a hitting coach. He can read pitchers. And uh, he's just a tremendous player. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And as we like to say in the North Shore, keep swinging for the fences. Thanks for listening. Bye.